this guy. Boom. Look at it! Look at it! All. Hey guys, what is going on? So we're using the new Magnetar, which I haven't used yet. Actually, more like a couple weeks old Magnetar now. But these weapons are very powerful. They might be the second best light weapon after the Scatter. With that 600 meter range. And I'm so confident in this weapon. I'm showing you guys Patton gameplay. The Patton has no module slots. No legendary pilot. No healing, no anything. And look how much damage this is. If a weapon is good on the Patton, it's probably good on any robot. So we have that 600 meter range. And look at the firing rate of these weapons. That's half that, what is that, a blitz? That's three, one clip to 300, or what am I saying, 375% of that guy's health. And then we have a very fast reload on top of that. That scorpion in the middle. Looks like he's got some healing, but he'll get taken out. Oh, somebody stole a kill. And this thing is crazy. These weapons I'm really impressed by. So we're moving around. Canyon map is probably the perfect map. Because you can really make use of that 600 meter range. And it's so open that people can't really sneak up on you. Boom. Kill. And there's like three guys coming there. And then we can just keep walking backwards. Kill. Like I said, we have no last stand. On the patents, too old, so you can't put a last stand or a phase shift. You know, any modules on it just because, you know, Big Sonic, it's kind of outdated, so it kind of needs an upgrade big time. But then we get caught here. So here we are in Castle now. Same thing. We got our four Magnetar. And that's a Jaeger across. So shooting, shooting. Look at that. Whew, look at that damage. Load up, load up. Shooting. And you can really make use of that 600 meter range with these weapons and stay out of danger. And I'm telling you, if the game was more of a long range game, I think these might be the best light weapon in the game. Or one of the best weapons in the game, period. But because everything's so centered around like brawling up close, like even the maps right now, there's a lot more close brawling maps. The weapons aren't going to do as well. But there's still enough. There's still Canyon. There's still um, Castle. I'm sure Yamantau is going to be coming back pretty soon. So we're moving around, moving around. We don't have a ton of durability either. We do have some pilot skills. Oop, there's a Scorpion. Get him. Couldn't get him. Oh, deal damage. Oh, our kill was stolen, man. Okay, I think we get one more kill here, and then... But yeah, the reload on this thing, the fire rate, it's pretty insane. And the lockdown on top of that is really useful. When fast-moving robots are going across, boom, there we go. You can really make use of that fire rate. So here we are in Springfield. Let's do this. Now we got our Blitz. We have pilot skills. Three thermonuclear reactors. And an Octanian drone where our damage increases when we hit our healing ability. Or a healing module. So this is probably what realistically players would run the Magnetar on. Because nobody's going to use the Patton. That was more just to show that if a weapon is good on the Patton, it's probably good everywhere on any robot maybe not a I don't know what has a light weapon maybe not like a shoot no that's a heavy whatever <laughs> okay here we go okay so we have that 600 meter range I don't think the enemy know that I have these weapons right now okay, that guy's taking off Okay, we're going to back up. Oh, that 500 meters. He's got a 500 meter range with that Hawk, so... We tried to lock him down in midair, but he has an anti-control module. Look at that guy. That guy was just getting destroyed before he put his shield up. 
Come on, drop that shield, man. Man, these weapons are crazy. I want to play her without a last stand. The last stand's so annoying. No more fast kills. I like one shot kills. Those are the days. <laughs> oh, here we go. Boom. Triggered that guy's last stand. One clip. That was like all of his. That was like 80% of his health. Just gone. Okay, we're moving, reloading, reloading. They do have a bunch of hawks in the enemy team. They're pushing for our center, so maybe we should push forward too. This guy, boom. Look at it! Look at it! That is insane. That was a hawk. Now we can run backwards too because he can't hit us above 500 meters. Sorry, Chief. <laughs> Oops, somebody got him there. There's an enemy hawk. Oh my god, he took off again. Ooh, this guy's getting around us. Uh-oh. This might not be good. We don't want him to get our beacon there. That's probably our responsibility. Oh my god, can we get back in time? Oh, he might get it. Oh! My teammate saved that. Good job, teammate. He saved that one. That was way too close. Because if they got that beacon, then they have our home beacon. Then they'll start spawning in there. And then it might shift kind of the tide of the game. Because we do have the beacon bar advantage right now. It looks like we're pushing that far left beacon right now. So let's move up a little bit. Keeping aware of our ranges. Man, who would have thought the Blitz Magnetar? Okay, we're just using it to get closer. Boom, even though he was using his healing. Last stand triggered. Got the kill. There we go. Okay, what are these guys coming across? That's all. Falcon, lock him down. We, we take him. I think he's a traditionalist Falcon. Oh, we destroyed himself. He was too scared. Uh oh, uh oh. Ooh. No! He's gonna kill us. Uh. Retreat, retreat. Retreat, kill that guy. Double kill, there we go. Back up. Oh, I think we should ditch this bot now. Okay, we lost a weapon. Let's switch out of it. We've been in it for four and a half minutes. Okay, let's protect the center now. Now we get our Demeter. I think this is another up and coming robot, the shell bot, the Demeter. Seem to be the two up and comers right now in the game, especially in Champion League. Ooh, let's help out our teammate. The ability to like heal, have that indestructible shield, and teleport to allies is a very useful skill. Uh oh. Is that an Arthur right there? When did he come in there? He's just sitting there. Okay, this isn't good. We're taking some damage. Our last dance triggered. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Okay, we got taken out. So they just got three beacons. We do have a beacon bar lead. Let's drop our nodens. Double nodens on a team can be very effective. Okay. Let's push this beacon. Let's get our teammates there. Oh my god, look at this. Our teammates in a one on one. But he has two nodes helping him. So we can heal him, both heal him, which is insane, and then suppress the other guy. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Oh my god, that is another nodes. We can take him out. Boom, took him out. Suppress that nodes. Keep healing our ally, Arthur. Oh, we got our cannibal reactors on. We'll rip the lightning. Lightninging -ing him, him. Lightninging -ing him. Electrocuting him. Okay, this is gonna be tough. There's lots of enemies here. That Minos is shooting at my team as well from there. Okay, we're reloading right now. Pretty long reload on these weapons. Yikes. Okay, last stand triggered on that guy. Let's heal him again. Boom, there we go. 
Nice, we got the beacon. Man, that was insane. Our teammate was dying in a one-on-one. -on -one. Me, myself and that other Nodens healed up the Arthur, suppressed the enemy, and we eventually took the beacon. We took like five guys there. That's the power of Nodens. Okay, let's push their home beacon, I guess. That Minos is coming in, but I think we could take him out if my teammate and I kind of team up on him. But if he gets support, it might be an issue. Okay, now it might be an issue. 2 on 2 is fine, but he's probably going to use his defensive system. And there he goes. You don't want to shoot at him. I... Okay, there we go. When he's using that system, don't shoot at him because it's just a waste of ammo. Okay, now we dropped it. Oh no, the lock on messed up. Okay, we suppressed him, but I think it's too late. Oh, ah! Kind of messed it up. Oh, we're home beacon right now. I can't drop in there? It's not letting me drop in there. It feels like the drop in on a beacon like setting is kind of just messed up. Sometimes you can drop in, but then. It'll be like the enemy team has, hasn't actually taken it yet, but it's still showing up. All this weird stuff. Okay, here we go. Ravana. He's coming up. Okay, this is going to be a bit difficult. Ravana versus a Loki. Hopefully he does not have a quantum radar, because that would kind of get rid of our advantage here. Boom. Triggered his last stand. Let's go back. Stealth. I think we can do it. We can do it. Boom! There we go. I think that was the fatality. Fatality. Okay, it looks like we're going to do it. Alright, guys. So that is going to finish this game. That was some pretty good bullets. Magnetar gameplay. Hopefully, we did some pretty good damage there. That was a pretty crazy game with the Blitz Magnetar. Then the Nodens taking that far left beacon of the enemies. 4.7 million damage, 5 beacons, that's pretty good. So thanks for watching the video, guys. That was the Magnetar, the Pat, and the Blitz. Definitely a very effective weapon that could make its way into the game. It's more if the meta kind of switches to a, you know, a longer range type meta. But thanks for watching the video, guys. Until next time, peace. See you guys next time.